Right. If you look at the cartridge on this side, you can see a pin, and there's two little gaps. And on the opposite side, there's another pin with no gaps. So what you have to do is drill a little hole on either side of the pin. Not too deep. And then you can get your small pliers. And pull that pin out. Turn the cartridge round. Pull the other pin out. And your cartridge will now come apart. So we'll start with the waist side, pin on the inside, get your screwdriver, wiggle it a bit, oh, need another screwdriver, get a small ed flat edge screwdriver, Force it in a little bit and your pin will pop out. Put that down, pull the shutter back, and your drum will then come out. Give the drum a wipe. Now, if you're changing the drum, you have to take the bevel out. Take the bevel out, get your pliers, and it just pops. Put it back in. Line it up, you're in a good push. That's how you're changing the drum around. Next is your PCR. Just grab your PCR, take it out. Use the PCR cleaner, which you can get from Green Trees. Put that down. And then you've got two screws. Two screws out, grab all of the, the wiper blade and empty the waste. You've emptied the waste, give the wiper blade a wipe, put it back in, got a, a lug on one side and it'll line up, put your screw in. Not too tight, just as soon as you feel it biting, stop screwing. Same again with this. And that's it emptied. Put your PCR in, click this back in, get your drum, your bevel always goes through the big hole. Put it in, lines up, push it back, get your pen. That's the waste emptied, rebuilt. Now the main upper, what you need to do is see there, he's drilling all there and drill a little all there. Do not go too far in on this hole because it goes into the main upper and it will leak. If it leaks, put a bit of glue on it. So, just a little bit, just a little bit there, and then what you need to do, get a flat headed screwdriver, crack it, and then pull it off. Don't worry about that, you can bend that. Take the mag out. Take the white collar off, take the black collar off, and give it a wipe. Most of the waste tone is gone. Put that back down. 
Then you've got two little, take your little cog out here. Put that down. Take your two little screws out. down so I know which side it's going to go back on. So that's off. And then force your doctor blade up. Give that a wipe. And then empty the waste. Empty the waste powder. You can at this point if you see this, is take that out to help it, help you to fill it. All you do, basically, just grab over one end with the screwdriver, bend it. You can take that out and bend that. You do not need that now. From this point, it's been cleaned out, fill it back up, put the doctor blade back. Doctor blade always goes with the rubber facing in, and you've also got a little lug that side where it fits on. So now you put the collar on, it goes on like that. The other doctor blade one, on the opposite side. So, now the cog will only go in one way. If you look at the back, you can see two little marks there, top and bottom, and also on the side. That always goes to the outside of the, car of the cartridge. So you put that in like so. The black collar goes on the spring end, the white collar on that end. Put it in. And the easiest way to do it by just spinning the white cog now and it'll force in. If you look at the end, you've got the half moon there and your internal mag should be sat in there. If it's not sat in there, you've not put it in right but it'll be bang on. It should be perfect there. So that's done like that. Get your end, put your finger on the mag and that, that one is going to the, that hole, that one is going to that hole, and the mag goes in there, you put that on, like so, and then we get a little screw, and that goes in the hole you've just drilled, if you look it. That's to all the end on. And then all you do, give it a little spin beforehand. Sometimes they are tight. So just use your screwdriver, just move it slightly, give the spin so it coats. And then your two pieces here go in your two gaps here. So as you put it together, the easiest way I find is just to roll it as such and then pin in there on that side, turn it round, find the hole, pin in that side, that's done. Take two little pieces off here. Take the old chip out, put the new chip in, and a drop of glue on each end. 